son. Can you help police track him down? Fire crews mopping up a massive fire after a tough firefight in Linwood. And commencement ceremonies begin at USC, but the festivities are looking a lot different than in previous years. We're there live. Good morning. This is Eyewitness News at 11 a.m. live on ABC 7, Hulu, and wherever you stream. I'm Giovanna Lada. And I'm Philip Palmer. We do begin with the Amber Alert issued this morning for a missing one-year-old boy in West Covina. Authorities say the boy's father took him from his mother during an altercation. Eyewitness News reporter Jaisha Patel is live with an update on that search. Jaisha. Philip Giovanna, police tell us this all stemmed from a domestic violence call that happened last night that came in from the child's mother. Police are looking for one year old Weston Landrum. And if you take a look at your screen, here is a picture of the suspect and the father. You're looking at 46 year old Wesley Williams. He's 6'1, 190 pounds with brown hair and blue eyes. And he was last seen wearing a Hawaiian shirt, blue jeans, gray blue shoes, and has a noticeable wing tattoo on the front of his neck. Now, as for the victim, one year old Weston Landrum. He has blonde hair with blue eyes, and police say Weston is three feet tall and 20 pounds and was wearing camouflage pants and a gray shirt with a bunny on it. He was last seen on North Grand Avenue last night around 9 p.m. here in West Covina, and police say the domestic violence call came in around 9 p.m. The father, who again is the suspect, was inside of his car with the mother of the child, and police say the mother was injured and got out of the car and called police. She also told police Police, the suspect threatened to harm the child. Now at this time, police say they're not aware if he has any weapons. Police also say the parents are not from West Covina. They wouldn't release the exact location where they live, but told us it is in the LA area. And again, take a look at your screen because this is the suspect's license plate number. Wesley Williams was last seen driving a 2014 white Toyota Tacoma with California license plate number 75001B3. Back out here live, we've contacted police uh, numerous times this morning trying to get an update, but we haven't heard back. If you do see the suspect or have a tip, contact police immediately. Live in West Covina, Jaysha Patel, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Okay, Jaysha, thank you. Eyewitness News has learned an L.A. County deputy who worked in a jail has been arrested on felony charges. The Sheriff's Department says Deputy Michael Miser was arrested in April on April 30th. He has been relieved of duty. Miser worked at the North County Correctional Facility as part of an anti-gang unit known as Operation Safe Jails. And just a few hours ago, Air 7 HD was over a massive fire at a commercial building in Linwood. The fire started shortly after 8 a.m. Less than an hour later, authorities called for a third alarm. Firefighters attacked the fire with ladder trucks and from the roof of the building, a large black plume of smoke could be seen rising near the 710 and 105 interchange. No injuries were reported. Today, USC is officially kicking off four days of graduation celebrations. But festivities are going to look different than previous years because of recent campus protests. Eyewitness News reporter Irene Cruz joins us now live from Exposition Park with the very latest. Irene. Yeah, Philip and Giovanna, good morning. The main graduation ceremony has been canceled. Only the smaller individual school ceremonies will be taking place this week with Air 7 HD up in the sky, giving you a vantage point of one that's going on right now. It's one of the PhD hooding ceremonies. As of as of now, we don't have any protesters on campus, uh, but uh, we aren't really seeing too much activity, but we are hearing some police sirens here in the background. Uh, looks like they're just taking care of some uh, issues with traffic. Now, USC is ready with any action that may come their way with heightened security and all the events that are taking place for commencement this week all require a ticket. Congratulations. Graduation is looking very different at USC this year. Smaller individual school ceremonies still taking place over the next four days, but the main commencement ceremony has been canceled over safety concerns. The campus had to guarantee safety for everyone. And no, I'm not mad because I think that it's more important the safety of all students rather than just my own personal happiness. It follows weeks of unrest on the campus. Pro-Palestinian protesters occupied Alumni Park. Some heated and chaotic moments. 93 people were arrested last week and police cleared the encampments just days ago. One graduate who didn't want to be on camera tells me he didn't approve of how the university handled the unrest. Truthfully, I feel like the president de-escalated the situation. 
because I feel that the students were pro peacefully uh, exercising their right to protest as they should. But opinions have been split. It's hard. It's hard to see a lot of your students, like, it's hard to see a large police presence all around campus all the time. Then again, they've really done a pretty great job, um, and I'm not too criti critical of the administration. USC has been ramping up security for the smaller, ticketed school ceremonies, including a clear bag policy. The canceled main graduation ceremony normally brings 60,000 people. It's been frustrating for families traveling a long way to not see the larger event. It is disappointing because we came from the East Coast. You know, we made special arrangements and everything, and our daughter's getting a PhD, which is a huge, big deal. All the plans have been changing a lot. It's hard to know, you know, what's been going on. Now back out here alive in place of that main graduation ceremony, USC will be hosting a big event at the LA Memorial Coliseum tomorrow night at 830. They promise fireworks, a drone show and a gift for the class of 2024. So the celebrations will still be ongoing. Reporting live at USC, Irene Cruz, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Those graduates deserve to be celebrated. That's yeah, for you, sure. You know, you think about it for many of these, the, they graduated high school in the pandemic. That's and so now right. they're getting a chance chance to, to walk and, and once again there's a glitch yeah. yeah all right we want to check in with Brianna Ruffalo she's got a look at our forecast and it looks pretty nice no glitches yeah we do have a little bit of marine layer clouds but it's not a whole lot and so it shouldn't really be affecting your day too much because it's still going to be really nice this afternoon uh, you can see a little bit of patchy cloud cover over Malibu so we didn't have much of a marine layer the past few days and it's definitely popped up a little more today so now we're kind of back into that May gray pattern. It's still keeping things cool over in Malibu, but we are starting to see a lot more sunshine now as we take you over into Long Beach where it's a nice mild 68 and is really beginning to warm up there over into the Long Beach area. So for the most part, we are seeing uh, quite a bit of sunshine. There's a little patch of clouds near Malibu, a little bit off the coast of Long Beach as well. And for the most part, we are all seeing a lot of sunshine. Our temperature is beginning to warm up a bit now as well into the low 70s for Santa Clarita and you can also see some of our winds too now shifting a bit from the northeast and that will also help uh, warm us up too but we don't have any major winds to talk about just a little bit of marine layer clouds and some warm temperatures this week uh, we'll be talking more about that in just a little bit for now Philip Javon I'll send it back to you Thanks, Brianna. As we continue here at 11 a.m., the federal government pays tribute to a local Vietnam veteran for his dedication and service to our country. Plus, a new campaign.